Let us begin by doing our opening greeting. In the name of the loving Father, in the name of the risen Son, in the name of the life-giving Spirit, in the name of the three in one. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Good morning, everyone. It's really good to be able to do assembly for you again this morning. Shall we see what's in the suitcase? We've got some bricks in the suitcase. I know a story about building. I wonder if that's got something to do with why we've got bricks in our suitcase. Would you like to hear the story? So when I say Nehemiah, I want you to go, can you fix it? You know, like Bob the Builder, but Nehemiah, can you fix it? And then when I say together, I want us all to say, yes, we can. Should we try that? Nehemiah, can you fix it? Together, yes, we can. I think we're ready to tell our story. Nehemiah, can we fix it? Had a very important job in Persia working for the king but his heart was elsewhere his heart was in his homeland in jerusalem which is in israel he loved his homeland and missed it very much some 100 years before nehemiah can you fix it was born some of his people had returned from exile in Persia to their homeland and had rebuilt the temple. One day, Nehemiah, can we fix it, heard that the walls of Jerusalem had not been rebuilt after the many years of armies invading and breaking them down. So most of the people were still living outside of the walls rather than inside of the holy city. Nehemiah's, can we fix it? People had lost their identity as God's people. When Nehemiah, can we fix it? heard all this, he wept. What could he do? He was only one man and not a builder at that. Then, in the presence of the king of Persia, he noticed that Nehemiah, can we fix it, was sad. And he was not normal. So he asked, Nehemiah, can we fix it? What was, what's wrong? Nehemiah, can we fix it, explained. And the king asked him, what do you want to do? Nehemiah, can we fix it? Was so brave and asked to be sent to rebuild Jerusalem. And the king gave his blessing for Nehemiah. Can we fix it? To go and rebuild the walls of his beloved city. So he set off on the long journey home. Once there, Nehemiah, can we fix it, toured the city walls by night. He found rubble and stones and burned gates. He thought his heart would break. Let's rebuild the city walls, he said to his people, but I can't do it by myself. It would take us all working together. Yes, we can, but I am sure 
that together, yes, we can, we can do it. And that is exactly what happened. Different families worked together. Yes, we can, each taking charge of different sections of the wall. All along the wall, families took up their spades and their shovels and they got to work. It was a huge task. There were so many repairs that Nehemiah, can we fix it, could never have done it on his own. But they could do it together. Yes, we can. But they still had enemies. And the enemies wanted things to stay as they were. So they plotted and schemed and they mocked the work, trying every day to discourage the people. Indeed, building the walls of Jerusalem became such a dangerous task that the builders took it in turns to work and then guard. But together, yes we can, they overcame all obstacles and together, yes we can, they did complete the work. Together, yes we can, they finished the wall and what a day that was. But it wasn't just the wall that was rebuilt. In working together, yes we can, They had all grown together. Yes, we can, as a people. They had once again found their identity in God. What celebrations they had. Their joy was great. What a fabulous story. The story of Nehemiah rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem is a story about giving and receiving. Although the focus seems to be about a wall, it is about something far bigger than that. It is a story about community, about building and being a community together. Yes, we can as a people. It is this commitment through love and care of togetherness that calls them to celebrate and to be joyous. In the story we were told, they had once again found their identity as the people of God, as the community of God. I wonder how long it took them to build the wall. I wonder how much time they had to give before it was finished. I wonder how many times they wanted to give up. I wonder how many new friendships they made. And I wonder how through supporting one another they came to know themselves and God more deeply. And then I wonder, what things do we do together as a community? Think for a moment about the things we do as part of St Francis School, that if we did them on our own, they would not be as successful. Think of all the fundraising we do, how we support the food bank each week. If only one person brought in a tin of food, not many people would be fed. But when we all bring in a tin of food, lots of people are fed. When we give of our time and of our things, we create community. And in the Gospels, Jesus says that when we do things for others, we do them for Jesus too. Giving of our time and of our gifts for and with others is building community. It's building a community grounded in the commandments to love God and to love our neighbour 
as ourselves. I wonder what time and what gifts we can give to one another so that together, yes, we can, we can continue to grow and build community in this place. We're going to sing our song, I Believe. I'm going to go through some of the actions again. Hopefully you'll remember some of them, but for those of you that have forgotten or it's the first time that you've seen them, here we go. So the most important sign language that we're going to use in this song is believe. I believe. So believe. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you came from heaven to earth. I believe you showed us who God is and how to live. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you died and rose again. I believe you've opened up the way to God in heaven. I believe your spirit's here with me, giving me the power to change the world. So I'm living my life for you, Jesus, wherever you lead us, Jesus, and we're following. Wherever you lead us, I'm going to follow you. I'm giving you everything I've got for you, for the things I believe in. Shall we have a go? Generous God, make our hearts like yours, always ready to give. Help us to see opportunities to give our time and our gifts, to seek loving communities so that we can achieve amazing things together. Yes, we can. Amen.
the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>